Hello! I'm Matt O'Leary, and today I'll be doing a new video. It's one I've wanted to do for a long time, and it is my top 10 Children 18-3 songs. This is a punk rock band from the thriving metropolis of Morris, Minnesota. I'll never forget the text I got from my exhilarated wife as she saw these guys playing worship at our church when she first went there as a freshman. Crazy. We're really going to miss these three siblings, their fiery spirit, their energy, and their musicianship. Um, as we get ready to move soon. I said I wouldn't cry. Let's get ready to rumble. Number 10. After All from the new album Come In that just came out about a week ago. And this one is just straight up rock and roll. I love how it builds into that really quick, almost shuffle-like beat with the walking bass line during the verse. Also, any of Seth's just rapid fire drum soloing, like in the bridge here, is welcome. They started their CD release show with this song, and I think it's perfect for that. And the more R's we can get from Dave as he's singing, the better, in my opinion. After all, what was I born for? I mean, even singing worship songs in church, this guy's diction can be spotted across the congregation. Moving on with number nine, this one could come as a surprise to many of you, and it is from their second album, Rain's A Comin'. Wonder Eye. This song is part of a shift on the album from the very usual shtick of Children 18.3, you know, cover your eyes, these in-your-face punk songs, to this almost Beach Boys sound with those kind of melodies. Even though I didn't listen to them before college or, you know, even hear about them, this song brings a kind of nostalgia because I feel like they've never made music quite like this again. And I really love the shift on the album and these songs completely different from the rest of their catalog. Number eight, probably one that they've become sick of playing live over the years, but you can't really deny its appeal. That is all my balloons. You've got a scatterbrain opening on this song with Seth asserting his superiority as a drummer right away with the crazy rolls, and then that unusual bass line that uh, supports this very frenzied guitar part. And number seven, one we've all been obsessed with for a little bit here in Morris, Come in! Come in! What an album opener this one is. Wow. Dave introduced this one by saying, let me tell you a story at the concert. And I think this is what Dave does best as a songwriter, is making these very metaphorical stories. This is really a culmination of children's message and mission as a band that, you know, that is to spread the word about Christ, that no matter who you are, no matter your lifestyle or what you've done, you are accepted and loved in the kingdom of God. None of our good or bad works matter because every sin was taken at the cross and that was the final work. Ooh, that's right, Bear, isn't it? <laughs> I love how the song builds towards this huge climax with this piano and also this MIDI or electronic um, hammered dulcimer. And then just as you think it's rising to the peak, come in and it ends. Numero seis, another one from Rain's A Comin'. Hey Driftwood, Tides. This is one of the more philosophical children's songs and how the lyrics are written. It uses a boat and the sea as a metaphor for moving through life. And, you know, the message is, in my opinion, that uh, looking back and dwelling on shortcomings of the past is useless because everything is temporary except unity and community with other people. Father time is not appointed us forever. I love how this song demonstrates the Dave to Lee Marie uh, vocal exchange and that they just have this down so perfectly, transferring seamlessly back and forth. And we're halfway there, number five. LCM. The lyrics from this one are almost straight out of the Born Identity movie. Uh, right before the car chase scene when uh, Marie wants to stay with Jason and he delivers this killer last line. This one really demonstrated children's style early and uh, it illustrates perfectly this heart pumping scene. Also that Lee Marie scream. Woo! Number four. Sometimes you can't really explain why you like a song. I guess that's why music is a universal language. This is one of the first children's songs that caught my attention and I think Green Day would be proud of Jenny from On The Run. The pre-chorus in the song is one of the catchiest things I've ever heard, and I love the chromatic downscale during the chorus. Number three is Even Sleeping from the first album. I mean, what happened to the ska children 18-3? 
This is my favorite Lee Marie uh, vocal, the screaming style that she did a lot on the first album. This is kind of an experimental end section too with that dissonance in the guitar solo at the beginning of it and then also, you know, those whispers. Kind of wish this band would have kept listening to Rancid. And dos, moment to moment. You cannot argue with that grungy opening vocal and that guitar riff. This is the best pop rock song that Children has ever written. It really is my favorite sound from them. And I think it's also Dave's best vocal performance and also guitar solo. I love how there's that storytelling perspective a lot like Come In. And Seth showing off those ferocious snare rolls at the end. This song just builds in tension and never loses it. Number one. I'm kind of scared, guys. Final. This is the best song from Children, in my opinion, and the final on their self-titled first album. There's that dignified opening lick that's repeated at the end. I got this one on a mixed CD from my wife Nina when she was my girlfriend in high school, and that really sealed the deal, I think. It has just the coolest lyrics, and I noticed the reference uh, to Axe. Stefan, Stefan, tell me, weren't you even scared? The way I see it, this song is all about being bold in faith and being prepared for the inevitable persecution that comes with uh, claiming Christ's name. It's not only about martyrdom, but about celebrating God's ultimate victory. Also, I think the backwards guitar during the bridge, um, a little detail, is something that's so mature for a band, you know, in their first album. So, that's it. I'm sure a lot of you disagree with the songs I put in here. Maybe you agree. Um, put your top 10 children's songs down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and also tell me um, if you think I should do more list videos and also how I can improve my presentation overall.